two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No more. <laughs> Welcome to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to the sponsors of the channel, my boy Fast Classic. This mixtape is in the description box. It is absolutely free. And my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at we or from. Now, Kel Brook announces that he's going to come back to 147 pounds as well to wheat. And... When I read the article, I think it was on Boxing Scene. Big shout out to Boxing Scene. I read the article and I was just like, I might, I might, Kell Brook don't know what he want to do. Kell Brook does not know what he want to do. When he moved up to 154 pounds, he said he was moving up to 154 because he couldn't make 147 anymore. That was his story and he stuck to it. 154 you got a lot of killers and a lot of those killers don't have big names so i guess he thought better of it and he made his announcement that he's coming back down to 147 pounds i guess that's his story and he's sticking to it but he said he's not coming back until next year he plans on taking the end of the year off um up until the end of this year 2019 um if we see him in a ring at some point in 2019, great. If not, cool. But this is the thing that I don't understand as far as Kell Brook announcing that he's moving back down to 147 and he's looking for the big fights. Like he's looking for Khan. He's looking for Crawford. Like he's looking for um, all of the big names of 147. I might if, if this was the case, I might. Part of the reason why you didn't take the Terrence Crawford fight was because you said you couldn't make 147 pounds. Terrence Crawford is a champion at 147. It wouldn't make no sense for Terrence Crawford to take a fight with Kell Brook if it's not for his title at 147 pounds. Like, why would he take on a catchweight fight when he's the 147 pound champion of the world? Makes absolutely no sense, but that's what was told to Terrence Crawford. Kell Brook can't make 147 pounds he wants to fight at 154 now all of a sudden he's going to take more time off and make 147 like i don't care which weight he fights at i don't care if he fights at 147 or 154 i, I could care less which one he fights at i just want for him to stick the one story and that's it. Like, that's it. Like, that's want to stick to one story. 154 or 147. Regardless of what he picks, Kell Brook has done a lot of good things in his career. Unfortunately, both of his eyes has been damaged. One eye by Gennady Golovkin. The other eye was damaged by Errol Spence Jr. And to be honest with you, I just want to see Kell Brook and Amir Khan get it on and get that fight done and over with. And I just want to see both of them retire. So for me, I could care less which weight he fights at. I, I could care less of the announcement. Just I, I could care less at this point. And the thing is, the way I'm talking, you would think I don't like Kell Brook. But Kell Brook is a damn good fighter. He is a damn good fighter. But right now, his name is not popping in the streets. His name is not popping in the streets right now. And that's just what it is. So if he fights again at 147 and he fights some of the top guys and he loses to the top guys, then he, probably his excuse is going to be, oh, well, it was hard for me to wait, make 147. That's why the, him announcing this just really doesn't move me either way like i just wish he just fight amir khan and just retire at the end of the day y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section g5 jeff tv hit the subscribe button hit the like button please share this video support your boy support good content at all times i appreciate y'all peace